Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a couple of scrolling images for you here. We've got some long images and we can scroll up and down. We've done this before doing it automatically with some uh, CSS using keyframes. Somebody wanted to learn how to do it manually. Great for long images like that. We're also going to do one horizontally like this. So you can scroll left and right and check out your images. Really easy to do, there's only one tiny little bit of code today and as usual I'll put that little bit of code down below the video, don't let it put you off. So let's get started, I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build this on the front end today. And once enabled let's go on down, I've got a section here, the dark section there, blue tab. In there I've got a row, the green tab with two columns. I'm simply going to delete the row and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to add a new row, a little green button. For mine today, I'm just going to use two columns. Obviously, you use what you need to, need to use for yours. And in the first column, I'm going to roll down and put a Divi image module in there. There we go. Now, this is going to work best for long, tall images. We're going to do a vertical scroll for this first one. So let's select an image. I've got some long ones in here. There's one of that website, little one page scrolling website that we built a few videos ago. Great, well, we've got it in there and as you can see it's tremendously long. Now if you want to leave it like that, that's fine. But really what we want is maybe have this top, almost what they call above the fold part, and then have people scroll down to view the rest of the content. This being a Divi image module, of course you can link it if you want to. By putting a link in there, always best practice if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If not, open it in a new tab, that way your site's going to stay open. And of course you can open it in a light box if you want to. Great. Well to make this work now, we really need to go into our row and then into the column and give it a fixed height. To do that, again we'll go back into the green tab for the row. We've got two columns, a left and a right. We're working on the left one, which is number one here. I'm going to go in there. And here's where the bit of code comes in. I'm going to go over to my advanced tab, to my custom CSS. In the main element here, and I'll pop, this is the only line of code we're using, I think, today. It's just height, colon. I'm going to give mine maybe 350 pixels, 350 px, semicolon. And that's it. Now you may have noticed our little section now has shrunk up, but this is all spilling down over our content that we've got below here, which is not what we want at all. So we need to fix that by hiding the overflow. Now we've given our column a fixed height of 350, which is about here. So I don't want to see anything that drops out or overflows above 350. So still in our advanced tab, we can close up the custom CSS. Just down below, we've got visibility. There you're going to find horizontal and vertical overflow. Well, this is vertical overflow because it's overflowing vertically. So I can hide it by going to the vertical overflow and popping it to hidden. And there it is. You see it's cut it off at the 350 mark. But... I want them to be able to scroll up and down and when they scroll the image needs to go up and down. So instead of hidden, I'm going to put that on scroll and you'll see a little scroll bar appear to the right hand side. And there we have it. They can now scroll up and down that image to their heart's content. And you don't have to use the scroll, it's just like a web page, you can just roll your mouse if you want to while you're on it. Fantastic and that's a lovely little feature to have on your site, especially if you do have long detailed images. But what if we wanted it to do it the other way, if we had a long sort of landscape type picture and we wanted to scroll it horizontally? Well, let's try that. I'm going to save my column. I'm going to save my row. I'm going to go back in and let's add a new image module to this. And it's going to prompt me to put in an image. I know I've got a long 
landscape type picture up here. I'm going to pop that in there. And there it is. Well, that's okay. But really, I want to make it the same height as our one next door here. And a lot wider, obviously, so we can just scroll along it. To do that in the image, let's go over to the design. Well, I'll go into sizing. I know the height is 350 because that's what we made this before. So let's give it a height, perhaps, of 350. That's fine, but the aspect ratio's gone crazy on that. And I know the aspect ratio of this is about 3 to 1 or 2.5 to 1. So let's give it a width of maybe 11 or 1200 pixels. So I'm going to go up to the width. I'm going to say, let's try 1200. Yeah, that looks about right. People look like they should. Obviously, adjust it how you need to. And if you're going to use this on tablet and mobile, you want to go in there and change that. And common to all Divi modules, you can go over to what you want to change. If there's a little icon that looks like a phone there, click on it and you can check it out on tablet and mobile. And you may have to adjust this. I've just noticed that's 1200%. I actually want it in pixels. So I'm going to change that to PX. There we go, that's fine. Shrank it slightly, but I think those people look okay. Great. Well, let's save that now. And we've got the same problem with our column, but instead of having vertical overflow, we've got horizontal. It's falling out of the side of our website over there, which we don't want. So let's go back into our row, green tab again for the row. We're working on column number two this time. Let's go in there. And again, I'm going to go over to the advanced, down to visibility. This time we're dealing with horizontal overflow, not vertical. So you can just hide it by going in there, putting it to hidden like we did before. And we got our little image. But again, I want to scroll. I want to be able to scroll along here to see the whole of that image. So again, we're going to use scroll rather than hidden. And we got a little scroll bar on the bottom there. And there it is, we can scroll along. And again, that's a nice little feature to have on your site, especially if you've got some really long detailed landscape type images. So there we have it, let's save this. We'll save our road changes. Go down a little purple button, save the page changes, and let's exit the visual builder. And here's our first one the vertical scroller. We can go right down and see all of our image there. That's working absolutely perfectly. Back up again. And here's our horizontal one right here. And we can scroll and see all the details of that too. Now what would be nice is if we could actually customize these scroll bars to our liking. I haven't actually found a way of doing that. So if there's anybody out there that does that, pop it down below the video and I'll make a video on it. Because when you actually inspect these things, they don't really appear in the inspector. There's no way you can sort of target them. But I'm sure somebody knows how. And if you do, pop it down below. So there you go, guys. That's how to make scrolling vertical images and scrolling horizontal images with the Divi theme. Really nice little feature. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.